these things you see me do, I catch you marveling over them. Yet to me it's all minuscule. And you can do them too if you want to. And I said, stop playing. She said, no, it's true, Blue. And if you drop your seed into this fertile soil, it's possible that we could make two of you. And I said, who, me? She said, yes, you. And if we have a boy, we're going to name him W. <laughs> so each day, my brother and me would meet at this white picket fence with a grass school high, right? And we would kick off our sneakers and we would roll up our blue jeans and we would just walk barefooted down this unpaved dirt road and she would have a blanket and I would always have the back. And she would find ourselves on our backs, picking the blades of grass. And there I was with the sun in my face. And I found myself apologizing to the wind and the rain and the rocks and everything in life ever bad. My for life wasn't going my way. And her chest was like a nest. And it was the best place to rest my head. And her hand was in my hand. And her t shirt matched my t shirt. And we both were like mint and lemon and pollen and fresh baked bread. And it was just a statement to the world that she was my own and I'm his her own, man. Uh. And all I went would collect apples and burps from the surrounding bushes and trees cause she was gonna make me a blueberry pie and apple jam. And she did. And you better not go home until I said this. But it tasted fucked up. I know that pine jam was touched by the same hand that holds that hairbrush. When she be trying to imitate her favorite singer and sing on to her favorite song and press her heart, and you better not go home and tell her I said this. But she sounds fucked up. But I like it. Cause I know those notes with the tongue she was holding for a hero, just me and some men wish they had a girl like this, and that's a big if and you keep talking, but the point you miss, she's not a perfect timber to me, she's close, you know what? I here I am a poet struggling to make ends meet. I survive with the food stuck in my teeth. Woo! I spend time begging for toothpicks, and my girl, she was a sweet, sticky thing. She's got me thinking, how can a man not appreciate the way his girl smells when she gets out the shower? It's the art she's in her perfume bottles, the way she falls in pajamas in the morning. My girl burns the jello, but so what? She, she takes three minutes to cook mint rice. But all you gotta do is add a little butter and salt and a sprig of mint. She be set the sky on fire, had me smell like smoke. Smoke is stuck in my cold, smoke be stuck in my nose. Everywhere I go, smell like smoke, but so what? Hey girl, I can't lie. I just wanna lie underneath you. I wanna speck up, speck up, smelling like you. I want the sister be on me so strong, the dog thought I was you. And you thought I was a dog. And I was trying to kill your cat. You could work a piece of work back to watch me kill a rock for you. Watch you put air conditions on the street corners and call up the girls that try to dress as hot as you. Woo! You want to eat breakfast at night. We gonna set the table and then they can get to a food fight. And use our mouth to clean this mess of belly. We just gonna cut through the chase. We gonna cut the kids and tell them we gonna get it on right there. Sometimes I wanna make you mad at me so you can tell me things like kiss mom. And I'm on my knees taking everything you said literally. Stop me by moving too fast and be happy to give you a pedicure and I can paint your toenails. Not that you need it. <clears throat> it ain't that you need it. But I just want to be the love song that we just created the right because you and me we give experts write love songs. There's some kind of fairy tale, but nothing goes wrong, and we know they do. But thank you to me, you would never be that way because you are the color of love. Thank you. Harlem. I asked. With such rich candor, if I can or be there for those with which I could stitch or stick together, they then who watched from afar my presence invoking emotion from a safe distance with my stance of ghetto grace. Pale face would never appear upon my melanin skin, but I dared them with this bold and aggressive hypothesis still. If for once, in a swiftly passing lifetime, did I ever achieve an ideal so virtuous in its maturity? Surely I would on this day. But then, as for her, keeping her heart, weeping joys, <laughs> teething on daybreak, breathing life into our newfound courtship, we created wonder and envy in the hearts of strangers with our brazen, courageous public unity. 
We beckon the lonely to follow just as well. But I could tell by her intense desired gaze that her thirst for passion could only be quenched by that with which I could present to her from my large reserve of lust overflowing with readiness still. So I paused, waiting for a sign or a signal to continue, and then all at once she guided my face to that most sensual, secret place, tempting me to taste that newly showered, fresh, moist from excited arousal. I dared hold her hips with both hands, palming secure as I applied gentle strokes and nibbles upon her now growing button of love. She responded in kind, holding my head securely between her soft, gentle bodies, releasing encouraging ecstasy-filled sighs. The taste and texture of her natural nectar was delicious. 